This is West Virginia Tonight. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Curtis. We all have complete team coverage of the severe weather being forecast for West Virginia in just a moment. But first, we want to get to a stunning turn of events today in the ongoing West Virginia Supreme Court spending scandal. There was a deal at the Capitol this morning to allow two of the high court justices to keep their jobs. But by mid-afternoon, the deal collapsed. The Senate convened Tuesday morning for a pretrial hearing on the impeachment of Supreme Court justices, mostly over lavish spending on court office renovations that ran into the millions. Justice Paul Farrell was presiding and the senators were sworn in as jurors. But then came a surprise proposal to censure Chief Justice Margaret Workman and Justice Beth Walker instead of removing them from office. We have had discussions with Justice Workman, Justice Walker, who are also included in Article 14, but who we believe are less culpable, um, not blameless as I indicated, but less culpable. She cares deeply about the court, about that third branch of government and is acutely aware of the damage these events have done. But that was a House resolution, and the Senate refused to even consider it since members had not heard any evidence yet. While Justice Menace Ketchum on the left retired in July, the other four current or retired justices will now face a Senate trial. The senators that I've talked to throughout this process have uh, made the decision to uh, wait until evidence is presented because we are uh, having to make a decision based purely on that evidence. Basically, we're just going to be fair and impartial, listen to the evidence, and, and see where the evidence goes. It's, it's really a simple process. The option of censuring justices could still come back, but for now, the answer is no. And just to be clear, the vote was held today to also hold an impeachment trial for former uh, Justice Robin Davis, even though Justice Davis resigned from the high court in August. Well, as mentioned, it's been a day of twists and turns in this case. Let's go live to the Capitol right now and reporter Adrian Robbins with the latest reaction. Adrian. Certainly did change here this afternoon with two of those justices going from having deals to having trial dates. I spoke with Senator Fern, who first questioned that resolution that was ultimately deemed out of order by Senate President Mitch Carmichael. And he said it's important that those justices do go to trial to regain some of that trust that has been lost in the state Supreme Court. Now, the next time we see the Senate will be October 1st for that first trial, with the last trial coming November 12th for Justice Alan Lawfrey. We're going to continue to cover this, but for now, live at the state capitol for West Virginia tonight, I'm Adrian Robbins. All right, 